Hey, what's going on, everybody on YouTube? How's everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. I'm doing awesome, actually. So today, welcome back to another episode here on the Afterlife server. Woohoo! Oh, yes! We're back. Episode 15. And we're ready to roll here. Uh, in last episode, we were working on the Town Hall Staircase. Getting that all ready to go. We're also doing some things over here at the Spawn House. Just sprucing it up a little bit. Just giving... The storage room a little bit of an update but today's goal we are going to be finding camels and that is because i just want to have camels and i you know for no particular reason i think they're derpy on the other videos that i've seen of other minecrafters they just look super cute super super derpy just like the frog super cute super derpy and we built this oh that's so cool i don't know if that's a modification that we have here on the server where they're swimming around where it makes a little animation where it's swimming around, I'm not sure, but that's super cool. I never that's actually really neat. Hello, All Out J. There he is, the one and only All Out J pig in my frog pen. Uh, but yeah, just like the frogs, the camels, super cute, super derpy, and um, I don't know, maybe we can make like an enclosure for the camels too. I think that would be pretty cool, just like we did for the frogs. And uh, do something fancy like that. Once we find them, of course. Okay, after many, many, many moments of flying, this should be a brand new desert. So, because all of our previous desert was loaded in. But this should be a brand new desert, brand new desert temple. And there should, or not desert temple, oh, there's camels, okay. Brand new desert village I met. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'd like to get two of them. Oh my goodness, look. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, this is fantastic. Look how derpy they look. Okay, don't attack me. They're a little stoic. And, uh, there we go. I guess we just gotta tame it. Just like a horse, right? Oh, that was easy. Is this tamed? Look at that. Oh, quite, quite slow. But they do, they do like a leaping thing. Oh, and you can sprint too. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, nice. So we got one. We got one camel. Uh, is there any more? Is that... That's a lot of searching for one camel. I'd like to get two, so that way we can take them back and we can breed them. So I just discovered a desert temple here, and, uh, cause I, I just, I don't normally look through these, but I decided this just this time, eh, why not? And, uh, look at this, the dune, ar dune armor trim. Oh, that's pretty cool. I haven't got to play with the armor trims yet in, uh, survival Minecraft, so this will be pretty neat to try out. So, there we go. We got horse armor too, wow, look at, look at all these goodies. I see another desert village. Oh, yes. Hopefully there's another camel there. Because I would really like to get another one. Look at them. Look at how they walk. This is so... It's so cute. I gotta say, good job, Bojang, on this. This is really, really cool. Um, Having another, like, sort of mount in the game. Absolutely awesome. I think I see the tail of one. Look at that. There's the tail. <gasps> oh... Hopefully, maybe there's a couple more here. That would be pretty cool. If we can get, like, a couple more. But we can always breed them. Yes! So I guess there's only one per desert village. These guys are pretty rare. Um, I mean, for our world, at least. Because you gotta really travel. Look how far out I am. I'm about almost 5,000 blocks in one direction. Another three... Two and that... Two... Two thousand blocks in another direction. Um, but I got this... I got another guy here. This is going to be a little tricky getting them back, but I'm, I'm determined. Come on, you lazy. Get up. <laughs> Stop sitting all the time. Come on. All right, so with the addition of two awesome camels right here, I am so happy to have these. These are so cool. This is so cool to me. I don't know. <laughs> I love it. Um, But with the addition of that, we also have uh, our smithing templates, which we're going to try out in this episode as well. And then I also stopped by a very, very, very tiny cherry biome. Like when I say tiny, it was not even the size of my spawn house. Like it was so small. So I definitely grabbed some of that because uh, I would like to 
try us out some builds with this uh, cherry blossom wood. I think that'd be really cool. Also picked up some bamboo for scaffolding because we're going to need some scaffolding for the town hall. Um, I know we have some over there, but uh, I just figured I'd get my own supply while I'm out. And uh, yeah, we got also got a mending book on the way. So I'd say that was a pretty good exploration all in all. Nothing too crazy happened. And it actually wasn't too bad getting the camels back. They're slow, but to be honest, it didn't take that long. Maybe it might have took like 15 minutes just to get these guys back. Um, wasn't too bad. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to think of some ways that we can enclose these guys and maybe come up with uh, some sort of enclosure. I I'm not sure what I want to do just yet because we're kind of running out of room over here and I don't, I don't, I think I don't know where to put it. Um, I don't know if I want to keep putting stuff in the mountain. Um, maybe like up here. Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm really not sure. Maybe I can do something over here. I would like to build something though. I think that would be kind of fun. Like build like a, like a little building or a little shack or something for them. I'm just, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I want to do just yet with that, but I'll figure it out. Gotta go do some thinking. Okay, so I got a little carried away. <laughs> I got a little bit carried away. Not Well, you know, I just got a little creative. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Gotta let that creative spark fly. But, look at this. Got all this terraformed right here. Uh, roughly, not, it's not done yet. I'm gonna do a little bit more work. Put it in a little bit more detailed blocks. Just like how we did over the town hall block. At the town hall, town hall blocks. Excuse me. English? Okay, um, but over here I got the basic terraforming done. Uh, more details to be added later on. But yeah, I just had a little sip of coffee, you know, got the building, and I was like getting my ideas flowing, and I terraformed all this and got a spot for the camels, and they're up here. I put them up here, um, and they're just sitting here. Look at this, beautiful. We got cactuses, dead bushes all around. We got a mini kind of desert biome idea sort of thing going on um but in this blank area right here that's where i want to put the camel pen it's gonna be a housing of the camels and then i want to put a fence around here too or some sort of wall um ooh, maybe a mud wall ooh, that would be pretty cool like a mud uh little wall or something that way it keep encloses the camels good could be pretty cool i don't know i'm just kind of playing with this and seeing how it's gonna go um, and it's right next to the frog pond, which is great. By the way, before I lead you guys off into a time lapse, I was trying to put turtles in here. Yes, I gathered turtle eggs on my way home. I lost half of them. I don't know how, but I lost half of them, okay? And, um, actually, I kind of think I do know how, actually. I think the frogs were jumping on them <laughs> or walking on them. I, I, if I recall correctly, I don't think turtle eggs can be walked on, and I don't think they can be jumped on, which is a double whammy in this frog pond. So, uh, I still love this place. It's so cool. This is one of my favorite areas. Just this frog pond. Screw Town Hall. I like the frog pond. That's my favorite. <laughs> but, without further ado, let's get to building up a camel pen. Alright ladies and gentlemen, well, I got done the camel pen for now. Uh, there's still some more details I would like to add, but other than that, it is done. It is complete. 
and is ready to go. I love how this little build turned out. As always, look, it's so cool. And it matches our house theme, which I thought was the only way to go with this. And I think it turned out really cute. Super, super cute. Um, it's got like an offset roof over here. And uh, I just think it turned out really cool. And that you can ride through with the camels without or taking damage. So that was kind of the idea of why it had to be a little bit taller. But I think it's actually like the perfect scale, perfect height. And if we just float down here, you can see it in this view. Eventually, I'm going to have a little path that goes up here, which I think is going to be super cool. And before you ask, I did ask Whitefire if I could build this behind his house. I, You know, I felt bad um, that I was intruding, you know, on his property. And I did before I built any of this, I did ask him if I could build it behind his house because I want to make sure he didn't have any plans for behind here. But he was like, sure, go ahead. Just build it. Go for it, which is super nice of him. I really appreciate it. But I'm doing him a favor in a way. Like, I'm terraforming behind his house, just making it more beautiful. At least I think so. And uh, so he doesn't mind. He's basically moved into his base anyway, so he doesn't care what I do over here. But yeah, for the most part, that's the camel pen. Now, one th last thing I want to do here with the camels is actually make a baby. Because I want to see what a baby camel looks like. I'm very curious. Hello. Hello. You guys, you, they like it. Unfortunately, I think we have a mod here on the server where it keeps camels and horses still. Um, it's nice for horses, but for camels, they don't want roam around. Um, which I guess is helpful, you know, it makes sense. Um, but let's see if they'll actually have a little baby camel here. Come on. Is it going to happen? Do I have to do a little nudging? Is it taking a long time? Okay. There we go. Just a little nudge. It's so tough. Uh, don't sit on it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Get off of it. What are you doing? Oh. Ah, there we go. Oh, he'll follow. Oh my god. Hello. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh my god. It's... <laughs> Hello there, Derpy. <laughs> That's gonna be your new name. Derpy. Do you like it? Do you like it here? Here's a cactus for you. There we go. So I wonder... Wow, he just went over the fence gate. He crawled over the fence gate. Can these guys crawl over fence gates? Can they just walk over them? Hold on, let me see something here. Oh my god! This ain't gonna hold nothing! Alright, so let's see what you do, because I... It's so tiny. Yeah, just lay down for now. Just lay down. We don't need any of you, any of you escaping. Uh, where'd Derpy go? Derpy! Derpy! Where you at? Oh god, Derp- oh my- You little devil, you. You little stink. Look at him. Look at him looking at me. He's like, yes, I'm- I've found my spot in this world. <laughs> this is great. This is fantastic. Don't run into the cactus, okay? That might actually be a problem. These cactus might be a problem. Because I thought these camels would just stay still, but it looks like the babies are able to roam around. Let's see if we can get them to grow up. Come here, buddy. Oh my god. Here, grow up, would you? We might have to make a cactus farm. Or something. No, oh, you just, you're just relaxing. How many cactus does it take? Okay, we're not going to use all our cactus. But here's our cactus farm right here for now. Naturally grown cactus. Totally. There we go. Get away from me, derpy. Go away. So afraid he's going to run into one of these cactuses. All right. Okay. Well, that's it for the camels, at least.
Okay, so I've been working. I've been doing a lot of work here at the spawn house. But first, I want to do something because I've been learning. I've been Wik Wikipedian, uh, Minecraft Wikipedian, and apparently you can duplicate these smithing templates, which is kind of interesting. And right here, you can see it shows up in the crafting recipe. Actually, um, you just need a, a buttload of diamonds, unfortunately, uh, and you can actually duplicate one at a time here. So now we have four, which is very useful. So we always have to remember to keep at least one in stock at all times. So we can just keep duplicating them over and over again. Um, then there, I was looking on creative. There are some pretty cool ones that you can get. And uh, I would like to try to get those. Um, and I think that would be really cool. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to add some trim levels to our armor. And I did check, I did check to make sure that if we do decide to upgrade this armor to netherite, which changed as well, you need a netherite template. Um, so you need a, a netherite inglet, a netherite template, and and a piece of armor to actually upgrade. Uh, See, so it's not just the ingot and the uh, piece of armor anymore. So yeah, you actually need one of these little templates. It says netherite upgrading template or whatever so found that kind of interesting didn't realize that um but now i gotta decide what color i actually want on my uh trim i feel like gold would probably look the best it would stand out blue would be kind of subtle i feel like and a diamond would just kind of blend in how actually how that would that actually look uh actually no i want to keep one i gotta remember to keep one uh, let's see. Diamond. Yeah, it's like a subtle little... I'm just curious to see how that looks. It's not the best, but... Um, yeah, so let's see. Uh, let's try gold. I feel like gold's gonna look the best out of all of them. It's just gonna stand out. Yes. Uh, it's... Mm, it's not the best. I feel like... I feel like netherite looks really good with these armor trim levels. Diamond, not so much. Let's see what, uh, lapis looks like. Because I feel like that's gonna probably probably look the best. I don't. I didn't need that much lapis, but we'll go with it. The blue. I mean, the blue kind of matches my theme, right? Maybe we'll go with the blue. Let's do that. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Crafting a new look. I like it. Um, and let's do that. There we go. Um, and now we got some actual gear there. So pretty cool. It's, it's not, I, I mean, it's not my favorite look. I don't know. I, I thought this would look a little bit cooler. <laughs> I wonder how iron would look, actually. Oh, wait, but it uses the template. Oh, oh, wait, can I, hold on. This is a good test. Can I, if I take off the armor, right? Hold on. Um... Do I need the template again? I do. So it's like a one-time use thing. So make sure you like your look before actually using it. Uh, okay, that's fine though. We'll, we'll go with this. I, I'm not disappointed by it, but I don't think my cape matches this at all. I'm totally not dressed. <laughs> uh, so we're going to put this uh, template back into the valuables chest. That is definitely a valuable item. Just for, you know, deck cosmetic stuff it's nothing crazy um i kind of wish the trim levels did something that would be kind of cool but you know the look is just as fine so we're gonna we'll go with that for now all right so with me looking as ugly as ever <laughs> with this <laughs> trim level it's fine I, it's not bad but i don't think i chose the right color at all this is terrible i think i should have went with like red or something since my cape's red but i just think the light blue is not doing anything for me in this case i don't think it helps whatever color i choose it just looks ugly i don't know <laughs> it's just different i don't i gotta get another right quick because i think that'll look a lot better than this um but yeah guys uh so i did a lot of work around the spawn house here just the spawn area and i wanted to show you before we ended off today's episode so, going into the storage room here, I did a lot of work. I changed up this floor. If you remember before, it was a half slab up. So, I didn't like that. I thought it was a little strange. And actually, in the original design, there was a design like this. But I didn't go with that. I made my own design. Changed it up a lot. And uh, did my own thing. 
and added frog lights into underneath the barrels here with uh, some steps going down. And that's just so we could provide, provide lighting. And I think it adds for a little nice, cool look. I mean, it's a storage room, nothing fancy. You know, we're not going for anything crazy here. Um, but with the signs, right, I did all the signs on all the barrels and I added all the white dye and all of the glow ink sacks. And uh, yeah, I think this looks a lot better. I, I like walking just straight into this storage room rather than going a half slab up. I know it's not, doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but trust me, it's a little bit of annoying when you have to step up anywhere, even in game, even in real life and in game, it's annoying. So who wants to step? If you can eliminate the step, get rid of it. So yeah, also added these little flowers everywhere. Um, got them from the cherry, little, little tiny cherry blossom biome that I found. And uh, I think it looks really cool. I love it. I really like it. I like these little flowers all around. I gotta add more plants. I also gotta add lampposts around here too. It gets very dark around here at nighttime. But heading on up, a great day has happened. Yes, a great day. Um, a great thing, I should say. A great thing has happened. And uh, <laughs> turns out, I can do interiors. Okay? I can do them. I promise. That's my motto. If you're gonna build something, Build your interiors, people. Come on. It makes the build. And hopefully that shows here. It, it definitely makes this build 100% better. And 100% more useful. That's the other thing. So, this is the interior. The fireplace kind of stayed the same. Just spruced it up a little bit. And uh, added some, you know, nice uh, campfires in there. Made it more lively. And uh, added a little cherry blossom tree over here with some nice little benches and stuff like that with uh, stuff on top of them, paintings everywhere. Uh, the kitchen looking great with a big old spice pot. By the way, didn't know this, but you can put stuff in these pots. Look at this. You could put two items. No, you can put multi, multitude of items in these pots. Oh my God. And to get it back, you have to break the pot, which is, I, I just think that's so cool. That is so cool. I, I love that. I didn't know the pots, the pots could do that. Uh, but yeah, that's the kitchen. This is the living area. If we head on upstairs, my favorite room in the whole house. I love my tall ceilings. I just love them. I love looking up into a build. It's fantastic. And uh, yeah, I love the, the chandelier. I added the chisel bookshelves in. I think it look fantastic. I'm going to be repeating myself a lot because I'm just so happy this is done. <laughs> this is really great. And I got a whole map here of... of my area, but also most of the residential district. There's some houses that are on the outskirts that I couldn't capture in this uh, two by two area, but uh, I think it looks good. But you can definitely see what we've done. And uh, yeah, so it looks cool. Here's the master bedroom. This is where the magic happens. Not really. And if we head over here, we have uh, a closet nothing special <laughs> and over here is a side bedroom for the peasants that's right the peasants so they can stay in that place and serve me when i need serving if we head on up to, to the tower here you can see all of spawn look at that there's ash's house whitefire's house my frog pond and hugh bone's house the ugliest house in the server. I'm sorry, I said it, okay? I said it, it had to be said. It's a, it's a unique take on a house and there's a block missing right there. I'm kidding, I love you. <laughs> all jokes, all jokes. But it's not great, I've got, I've got to be honest. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that's all the progress that I did. And uh, I think it turned out fantastic. I think it, everything I did right now, I'm very happy with. And uh, you know what? Let's go do this real quick because I feel like I just have to do this. House interior, complete. Boom, I'm happy with it. I know that side bedroom's a bit of a disappointment, but don't point that out, okay? It's literally an empty room with a bed and a, there's a lantern on the ceiling, okay? I, I got bogged down with the interior, <laughs> a little bit. We found the camels. I just realized I don't have to I don't have to terrorize these signs, but we'll put them back up. Um, and uh, more decor around the house. Still got a little bit more to do on this, so it's not gonna be, I'm not taking that off just yet. But 
I'd say we're moving pretty good here, and I, I'm liking this. So, but yeah, uh, that is probably going to do it for today's episode, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully you did enjoyed all the camel shenanigans. I know I did. I'm so happy to have the camels. And we did a lot of catch-up work, you know? Uh, taking a little bit of a break from the town hall, because that could be a daunting project. And uh, just, uh, just messing around a little bit on the Afterlife server. And I'm very happy with how everything's turning out. Uh, be sure to check out all the absolute numbers. Be sure to check out our Discord as well. Links in the description to all that stuff. And um, yeah, be sure to like this video if you did like it. Build up that subscribe button if you don't mind. And as always, don't forget to, don't forget to be awesome. And I'll see you guys next time.